Welcome back, everyone, to Thea the Awakening. Before we get in here, we'll go ahead and start loading it. But let's take a quick update on where Thea 2 is in the Kickstarter. Let's see. They are $300 away from reaching their goal. So close. So close. We still got 11 days to go. <laughs> yep, Thea is happening. How are you today, Justin? So yeah, good times. No doubts that we're going to reach the goal. Still iffy on the stretch goal, though. That leaves us with 11 days to raise... 20,000 euros. So, eh. Oh, they did uh, release another small update. Let's see if it's on this page. They gave us the character art for the new and improved Horus. It has been a long one, even for me. Uh, here we go. Horus, such a bad name, is the new Horus. The shadows of the night and the terrors of darkness ever lurking in the corners, I rise. Reborn anew in the weaves of the moon's magic, I stand as the master of the night and keeper of the moon. Monsters and beasts, demons and fiends, they all roam my domain. It is up to me to keep them in check, to rule, dominate, and destroy those who disobey. I am a shadow stalker, a howler in the night. I run with the wolves and dance with the stars. I rule the dark to make sure the light does not conquer all. It is a task unloving, lonesome, and cruel. But it is a path I will walk for as long as the moon hangs in the skies. Do not fear the darkness. Master it. Such a badass. I always did enjoy horror. So... That's our updates. All exciting things. Cannot wait for this to come out. Alright, let's get back to the game. Hello, Coach Sick. How are you? Alright, so let's see where we left off with everyone. For our village, we are finishing up the last of our badass axes. And then we'll get to work on our medic gear. Um, speaking of medic gear, we should also queue up our blood pendants. We won't be able to make very many, but... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, sudden sneeze. Let's get what we can of those going, which is only enough really for one medic, but it's still an improvement. Good. Happy to know that you're doing well. Alright, so that's what they're doing. That'll also give us quite a bit of research points moving forward. Um, we're down to just needing to get towards Moonstone and Diamond. Uh, but I do want to start focusing on some better gear as well. Diamond is not needed for better gear. It's kind of just a, a helpful gambling mechanic. So that's the lowest priority of everything. Moonstone can give us some pretty decent gear, but at this point I think we should get both the swords and the spears before we worry about the Moonstone. And I'm not too worried about additional buildings at this time. Uh, let's start working towards spears. So we need two more points for that. Now we have Team Misfits here who are bringing back a load of, looks like dragon bone, cool beans. Ooh, and some more ruby. So that'll be very helpful for us with our blood pendants. We can get a few more queued up next. And then our main expedition group uh, is also coming back 
more with just a load of random loot because we've been questing with them. All right, let's get started. Looks like we got some undead and troll abomination hitting us. It's our main group though, so we should be more than fine for this fight. Uh, or is it our main group? Yeah, it is. We really need a better weapon for Owlbear games. That's kind of sad. All right, the undead, we do have to worry about piercing attacks. Sadly, all of our shielded units are in our tactical hand. So we're going to be taking a few risks. With that in mind, we'll send our lower health hammer out first, followed by our higher health hammer, just in case. And no spear, so that was a good move for us. The counter's not really worth it. I'd rather have his damage. But we can do some counter tic tacs if we want. Let's go ahead and poke him. Counter tactic. No more tactic cards. Alright. We get one. So let's end up playing coward with this small shield. Dark Chabor. Noob. Let's kill that archer. Alright, we got this. No problem. Just in case, we'll do some confuses to make sure. And that should be good. Alright, what do we got? We got... It's good quality, but it's not the greatest of crossbows. I think I'm still going to break it down for its base materials. Same thing with the Willstone. Finished our final axe. So let's send Team Misfits home. Let's resupply and drop off our loot. Get this cord out of my way. There we go. Not bad. We don't need the shirt or the silk. Let's also resupply our fish. Uh, we are not collecting fish very fast. Go ahead and take 240 of that. Uh, we don't need all of the testes. We'll just keep 50 with us. 35 of the herbs. And then gear. Let's pick up our axes. And anything else that might be decent for people. Ooh, we got two good quality ones. Talk about lucky. That might be useful. Uh, maybe those. If only we could put a weapon on our crow. <laughs> Alright, Catherine's already got a badass hammer. I think... She's kind of stuck using that one because the rest... Ooh, never mind. Our medic has... <laughs> oh, dear God. The Robra is a badass <laughs> with this axe on. So our medic now does... What is that? 71, 83 minimum damage, 95 maximum damage. Our medic almost breaks 100 damage now. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, God. Let's see. You are... Are you my seducer? I think you are. So I kind of want to keep the attractive gear on you for now. Let's see what else we got for options. Apollonia, you are maxed out on your weight. Seru, here we go. You also can have a good quality axe. Can we upgrade your armor? We can. Awesome. Raslava, you also need an axe. Enjoy. Have some armor as well. Pelchibog, 
we definitely need a better hammer for him. That is way too heavy for you. Otrak, you have a good hammer, so we're good there, and you can't have anything. So we definitely need a hammer, probably something better for Isbelut. A better sword, a better spear. So we still need some help, but we'll get there. Let's go ahead and switch that out. She still has... Oh, never mind. That drops her down to three once the blessing runs out, so we definitely need to keep that shield on. All right, I suppose. Whoops, damn it, I need that fish back. <laughs> fish, come back. We need you. Maybe give her better armor first. Medics are better when they stay alive. Very true. The problem is... Let me check our village real quick. I'm not sure we have better armor right now. That's light enough weight. Uh, That one's decent. Actually, I think that's the only decent one. If we're lucky, she'll be able to equip it with the... Nope. Hmm. How much lighter is the other axe? Where are you? Right there. It's 30 pounds lighter. Okay, yeah. So we'll stick with that for now. Good call, Coach Isaac. Let's see, where, oh, where do we want to send you? What do we need? That's the question. We already know that we need at least one more Warhammer, if not a few more. Which is going to be that, and Mithril... Eighteen and eight. Twenty-two and eight. This is much better. Okay, let's do that. Let's pop you up above the scum craft. We'll make three of those for now. We've got plenty of moonstone for that. That will put us pretty low on the ancient woods, so maybe that's where we should send Team Misfits. Where is the closest? Those two are definitely not the closest. That one's definitely not. Maybe? No. Yeah, that can't be the closest. Maybe it is. Holy shit. Okay, collecting ancient wood sucks. <laughs> they would run out of supplies before they even get to it. Hmm. Maybe. What is that? That is going to be about eight turns to get there. It's just too much. I think what we need to do actually is collect an abundance of food for now. So that we can send them on longer expeditions. You come across some dead bodies, likely left here by bandits, as they seem stripped naked. Well, let's put, prepare the burial. The burial. Prepare a burial ritual for the dead. Nice. Seru gain one permanent health. Always appreciated. Thank you. And let's gather some more food. We got plenty of options here. Apollonia can get that in one turn. 
almost get that in one turn. Definitely get that in one turn. We'll just kind of split everyone up from there. Can we get to 240? Oh, I bet we can. In fact, we can go over 240. Hmm. Let's put you somewhere else. We need 20 more, which is a four. There we go. So now we get two of this every turn. Uh, one of this, almost two of this. That's a little unfortunate, but that'll do. Let's see our main group. We are hunting giants. Now, the question is, where do we think... Oh, we, ha, we need to resupply before we go on that hunt. Getting ahead of myself. But then the question becomes, where do we think the giants are going to be located? And we're getting our medic gear starting to finish, which is perfect timing for this group. Let's see, let's go ahead and drop everything off. We got a lot of random stuff. Let's pick up some more fish. Drop off their testes. How much goulash have we made? A little bit. Uh, pick up the medic root, which will go on Albert again. Oh, <laughs> oh, we need Al to get a point of strength. So we're just gonna keep this on hand. If we ever need to boost our medic skill, we'll throw it on her. All right, where do we think giants are gonna be? We could go get this child as well. Probably going to have to explore what's down here. Alright, let's get to it. We need... Uh, let's activate our veggies for now. We do have a crap ton of meat though. Yeah, let's do that. Your village is swarmed by the wailing wraiths. Good thing we got our totem. pure darkness. A menacing wave of tormented souls who seek nothing but the destruction of all life. It seems they have become more frequent of late, more angered and active for some reason. Alright, let's hex him. Those who know the mystical ways of magic create a protection Free spell. will point, nice. It holds much of the evil at bay, but you still need to fight or lives will be lost. We got plenty of bodies to throw at this. Let's see, any counters worth using? That one. Any tactics? Not so much. That's alright. So, we need to deal 11 and handle 6. Nobody fits that bill. And we don't have any support ally. So, we're just going to send Eventide to be that meat shield we need. And then I can poke that one for one, which allows our Svartasek minion to kill it. Or he'll kill that one. Either way it works. Let's assume he kills the weak one. We would then need to do 10 damage, potentially, to this one. So we have... Looks like all four of them is going to be needed for that. Quite alright. And then we'll just get closer with everybody else. Easy 
APZ. Your willpower proves stronger than the malicious force of the Wailing Wraiths. This time, none of your people died. And Justin, you became more folklory and more magical. Very nice. Very, very nice. Love it. And a lot of people gain a will point. I love that event. As soon as you have your totem, if I can bring that event on every turn. <laughs> uh, uh, still don't know if I want to go for that child. I don't think we're going to. I think we're just going to continue trying to explore down here. Now that we're finishing more of the medic trinkets, let's go ahead and gear up our medics in the village. Actually, who's the best medic of the two before I do that? Five and six. Okay, this one. So now he's technically a 20, which is very nice. And if we can lure out the Umbridge Lord. You travel through the hills in search of resources, <coughs> and you come across the remains of an Hold old settlement. Thought. The houses are small, almost built into the hills themselves, and despite the decay brought by the darkness, many look well preserved. You realize, however, that you are not alone, as two tall orcs step in front of you with their weapons drawn. Halt! One shouts at you in a deep, heavy drumming voice. Anyways, if we can lure out the Umbridge Lord tonight and finish him off, then I think that'll be the end of this Svarog run overall. I don't think it'll be quite enough to get us all the way to level 5, but it'll be pretty damn close. And then that way, uh, starting this weekend, I can move on to the next game, which just came out yesterday. I haven't touched it yet, and boy does it itch for me to play that game. <laughs> it's called Battle Chasers. It's a turn-based RPG that was uh, created... Um, based off of the web comics from the 90s of the same name. Some of you might be familiar, but probably not. It was a very niche comment. Uh, let's see. Don't do anything rash. The two orcs speak together in a foreign tongue, which sounds a lot like whistling leaves on a windy day. You make out a few words like deal, mistress, and vault, but not much else. The orcs step aside, and an orcish female steps in. She is even taller, muscular, and holds her head up high as she speaks to you. We got here first, human, so don't get any ideas. But we may have a deal for you. We found something and it needs tools to open, and we have none. Give us your tools, and in exchange we will give you several weapons and some resources we found in this place. Deal? This run really has a tough map to get around on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was uh, very unfortunate that we started out on a peninsula in the middle of a lake in the middle of the map, and then to our north is nothing but snow fields, and then everywhere else is mountains. So it is not the greatest of maps, but we made it work. We have survived for over 500 turns, I'm pretty sure, at this point. Anyways, let's work together. The orc woman frowns, and her men take a few steps forward, but she raises her hand to stop them. Work together, you say? Why? We have never gotten anything but hatred and disdain from your kin. Why would we trust you? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Alright, the only challenges here are the witch and the matriarch, the fighters that to absorb your attacks and be annoying. Like so. <clears throat> They're very weak. Uh, I think I want to start with some counters if possible. We need level 5 and higher. So, counter. Oh, damn it. Misclick. Oh, well, it doesn't change anything. Counter. And then Tic Tacs, as long as they're level 6 or higher, should work. So, this is super easy because both the Witch and the Matriarch were used, or I countered them. So, we only have 15 damage coming at us, and we need to deal 6 to kill this guy. Uh, 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 boom. Kotrasek fits that bill. And then six to kill that guy, which will be Krolls. And from there, we will send out the rest of our people to clear out the discard pile. And let's go ahead and just get closer with these two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 
conversation goes well, and so you end on a high note. So you see, we both have an image of our people in our heads. We think orcs are brutes who will eat our children, and from the sounds of it, you think the very same of us. If we give you our tools, you may not find anything of use in the vault anyway. But if we work together, you keep your stuff and get half of what's in the vault. And we both learn that trust can be found in the strangest of places. The orc woman nods and smiles. Oh, fine. You have a silver tongue, human, but I like it. Let's get the vault open, and then perhaps we can even drink together. Inside the vault, you find a supply of various wooden logs, some minerals, and a huge supply of dried, cured foodstocks. You also find a small armory, but it is clear that whoever lived here treasured the food and resources more than anything else. And we're gonna share as promised and hope you share the spoils and sit by the fire with the orcs. That we get an orc there is an awkward distance between the Ooh. groups, but it is certainly progress. Very nice. The orcs get up to leave, but their leader turns to you once more. This At was this a trick point, to remember, so good. and I would not like it to go to waste on account of our mutual hatred. I give you one of my men. Not a good one, mind you, he's a measly thing, but perhaps he can prove his worth amongst your people. But in return, one of yours will come to live with us. Perhaps this way we will learn about each other and rebuild our land differently from before. She looks away, her face frozen in thought. Now, we could accept, but we'll lose a random person, which I don't want to lose anybody in this group. Yeah, I don't want to lose a single one of them. So we're going to turn her down politely, and there's still a 50-50 shot that she will give us an orc worker. Fine. In that case, I shall give you Got one it. of my workers instead. He's truly a pain in my existence. If you don't take him, he shall be left here anyway. This way, we still keep a connection and you unburden me from an annoyance. Hmm. Thank you. One of the orcs you have not noticed earlier steps up and stands by you. His head is hanging low. Nice. He's much smaller than his warrior friends. Decent. And yet, he still seems like a sturdy enough fella. The other orcs grunt something to him, and he nods to them. Then they all leave. The orc speaks in your tongue, but it's an effort for him. Me happy to living in human house. Me thanking you. Me be hot track. He bows and starts working on loading your loot without any delays. Alright, this one's kind of a hodgepodge, but he has some good features for himself. 17 strength is pretty damn good to start with. Uh, he does come with some gathering and crafting, so he can be useful in the village if we wanted. Uh, and the fact that he comes with divination is kind of surprising. This will give him at least some usefulness while he's a meat shield during hex challenges so not bad all in all we definitely need to gear him out and we need a name for him who am i going to name you after let's see an orc i could go cliche and do shrek but i don't think so uh, no, no, let's not do that uh What's a good orc name? Let's go with Moash. We definitely need to give him gear. This is kind of sad. Yeah. We'll work on that. Now, it is a little disappointing that we just got him at the start of our little trek out because now we have an extra body for this whole trip. It's going to throw some of our combats a little askew, but we'll make do. All right, good time for the daylight to come back because we need to start exploring this area. It's going to take us a few turns to get there, though. What do we got? You come across the ruins of a house hidden away from the main track. The damage looks fresh, and there are signs of a violent struggle. Let's move the rubble to see if there's any loot. You carefully move the stones and logs and uncover four bodies. Some of their belongings are still usable. Uh, as far as resources go, the topaz isn't bad. We can use that for some more gambling gear. Uh, we could leave, but I think we should be the good Samaritans and bury the bodies. As you prepare the bodies for burial, some of the corpses rise up and attack you. Which is fine. That's more experience, potentially more gear for us. I'm happy with that. Uh, Moash takes the place of Kochasek, so that's a little disappointing. 
at least they're both hammer users, so we didn't lose too much. Um, undead, so we do need to worry about piercing attacks. Let's start with a good shield. Nastka. That's why. You have to worry about piercing attacks with tier 2 undead and beyond. Uh, so we don't have to worry about any more offensive cards coming out, which means let's go ahead and do some counter tic tacs. Make this fight nice and easy. Uh, we can confuse the last one, and then we can first action some people to take care of this one. And we're definitely going to do that. Who can get that kill? Uh, looks like Noob and Dobermeyer together can kill him. So, let's send out everyone else. Then Dobermeyer and Noob. And then we're going to first action both of them. Nice and easy. Sadly, we got a wooden training sword out of it. Now, how can it be a wooden training sword when it's got iron mixed into it? Eh, whatever. It's got nails poking out of the end. <laughs> Still not useful. Uh, this isn't very useful, but the fact that it's made of ruby is nice for us because we want rubies. So we're going to break it down for its materials. And let us keep on keeping on. Life's a garden, man. Gotta dig it. We can't go any further, so let's go ahead and use our last point to collect some more food. Definitely not going to collect clay, though. That's just going to weigh us down needlessly. As far as these guys go, they are collecting quite a bit of food already. Uh, let's, let's keep at it for a few more turns. We can always resupply more wood and then send them out. I think I'm still going to send them for the... Ancient wood, we'll have to determine which one's closer, but they need a lot of food to make that trek since it's so far away across rough terrain. Alright, next. You enter into a wooded area. Birds are singing, the wind is gently rocking the trees. In fact, it's pretty nice. As you venture deeper, you realize that this forest is very healthy, and you even find a nursery of young saplings. This type of find could mean a lot for the village. However, you do wonder how this particular patch of the forest could be so very healthy. It's a trap. <laughs> We're going to have a look around before we take up the axe. You stay still and listen to the forest, observe its movements, and look at the whole picture. Before long, you get the feeling you are watched, and soon after, one of the trees, an old oak, moves and speaks to you. I am Li Shi, the guardian of these woods, and do not like intruders. But you have shown respect thus far, so let's discuss how you may leave here with your lives. You are, in fact, in luck. We have a rogue Buge hiding in a place we cannot follow, and you have these useful legs of yours that can carry you to places fast, and no qualms about going into places you shouldn't, obviously. obviously. <laughs> so what say you to hunting the bougay? In exchange, we will also reward you with a gift. Or we could kill you all. Don't care either way. Oh, I want to smack him for that, but I still don't want to risk our people for this needless fight. So we will follow his demands. Wise choice. And it is yeah, nothing unexpectedly good out of it. fortunate for us both. This bouge I speak of is a lost spirit, confused, defiant. He has forgotten his duty as the guardian spirit. He has defiled his own spirit companions, made them rabid and vile. We cannot have such things. I shall tell you where he is. Make haste. The leashy points you to where he thinks the escaped bouge may be hiding. He also hands you a reward and you feel it came with some sort of spirit magic. All right, we get Blessing of Health. Noise. Thank you. We're not going to pursue him, though. He can come to us eventually. We did gain a level, however, from that event, so let's take a look. Uh, quite a bit of health gain. Nice. Dead Meat especially needs it. 
Uh, Catherine gained more trap skill. She's very nice in traps now. And our Sage became a slightly better medic. Very nice. Our main army. And <laughs> Noob has a level 16 Confuse. He can now confuse shadows. That is craziness. Kochasek, you got more gathering, which you are becoming quite the, the gathering fiend. Uh, Dobie Meyer, level 15 confused. Very nice, very nice. Ooh, our medic is better as well. Very, very nice. And when we put the tree root of life on her, bumps her up to an 11, and with bloodbath on, makes that a 22. Super helpful. And Moash gained even more divination. So he's actually pretty useful in a uh, hex challenge now. He will do 3 to 6 damage depending on what his target is. Playing Cowherd is an amazing gatherer now. Very, very nice. And finally, our village. Looks like a little bit of health. More leech is always nice. More health, more strength. All good things. Cool beans. Break camp and continue moving towards the unknown. Come on, giants. Come on out. We just want to say hello. You come across the skeletal remains of an ancient dragon, clearly fallen many decades ago as the bones are covered in moss, vine, and partly submerged in the ground. If it wasn't for Lady Lada's luck today, you would have likely missed it. <laughs> Those are some pretty cool beans. Ugh. Leave me alone. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're gonna collect the bones probably get attacked by something You go in closer to begin collecting bones But one of the dragon ribs has fallen and reveals a spider layer the creatures rise up and attack you Spider queen three blood spiders and five malicious spiders eh, I still think we'll be fine to auto resolve and we are Got a good quality will stone still don't need it though Another big wooden training sword don't need it and some decent stacks of enchanted and dragon bones. All nice. Thank you very much. You see fresh boar tracks. It looks like a large pack. Well, let's go kill them. You come across the pack and you're able to ambush them. Boars are easy at this point. Boar pack. Lots of flesh. And a shield that we don't need. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the meat. Let's see. Let them stay a little bit longer. We got blood bees. We got spores. Don't really care about any of those. Let's get to exploring. Now that we have daylight. We're also looking for a few resources. So we'll keep an eye out for them as well. Nothing of note yet. And no giants. All right, now is the time to break camp with these guys. Let's go get some more wood. We're gonna keep all of the food that we collected, however, so that we are well supplied. And now the question is, is this one technically closer at 38, or is this one technically closer at 47? So the answer is no. There was also two down here, which is, oh, these these are closer all right that's where we're sending misfits let's see we have no fog here so let's go down and follow the coastline time for bed catch you next time all right coach sec have a good night i will be back on friday uh most likely with the new game Battle Crashers, but it might still be Thea if we don't get the Umbridge Lord tonight. So stay tuned. You'll find out on Friday, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, have a good night, man. Thanks for watching. Raging Storm engulfs your expedition, and you believe it must be the wrath of Perun himself. Well, shit. Perun's pissed at us again. Uh, this Nothing good ever comes of this, but we will enter it with pride. 
Perun's thundering hammer rips the skies open before you, and the storm grows yet more powerful. Well, brace ourselves. <laughs> Let's see. We get to go first. I think the better move is to be countering as much as possible at the start. Let's see. I want to keep my confuses just in case, but everybody has a confuse, so we will start with the weakest of them. Any tactics worth using? No. So, we only have 10 damage coming at us. He's going to poke for 12. Which is not going to kill this guy. So we might as well save it and wait and see. Let's send out Moash. He can handle that hit and kill this one by himself. Then we'll send out Dark Legolas with his massive strength. Okay, that is no longer a kill. Fuck. <laughs> of course they would do that. Actually, let's go ahead and get that Confuse going. So that we don't take any damage. I regret sending Dark Legolas out now because he will potentially waste his attack finishing this one for Moash. Or Moash will hit this one and Dark Legolas will kill that one. That would be the better scenario. Assuming that that is what happens, we need to do 14 damage to kill this one. Bam, coach set can handle that. Uh, and then if we're wrong about everything, we'll have Albear Games do his little piddly poke and then playing coward, followed by Dark Chabor and everyone else. Should still be nice and easy. Beautiful. All right. So we came out of this one fine, and we got quite a few blessings. Very nice. Uh, blessing of strength on a lot of people. And, ooh, plus two permanent health on Polar Bear and Moash. Very, very nice. I approve. Thank you. Uh, we have one more movement. Let's go ahead and utilize that. You guys are already used your movement. Now, the one problem with sending these guys down is the Bugay will probably hit them now, but I think they're strong enough to handle it. And... Looks like we uncovered more Ancient Wood, or... No, it just that one wasn't appearing. Got it. <laughs> oh, a raging storm and your expedition you believe it must be the wrath of Perun himself oh, in Perun's name we enter with pride why have you forsaken us Perun Perun's thundering hammer rips the skies open before you and the storm grows yet more powerful <laughs> Perun is pissed <laughs> alright we've proven that we're pretty good at these we're just going to go ahead and auto resolve it and hey, same blessing yet again, which I don't mind because it's the same two people as well. Craziness. All right. Yeah. Keep making them stronger. I'm, I'm game. <laughs> Can't go any further. So we might as well use this time to collect uh, a single batch potentially of ancient wood. That is more than we needed, so let's throw you on some seaweed. How about you? That's still two more than we needed, but can we get 13 in three people? Yes, we can. Well, what if we did this? That works. Trying to be efficient with our gatherers. And then gather as much seaweed as we can. We're already at two bundles and we can't get more. Uh, do we want wood? No, we don't. All right, that's good. Break camp. 
And let's continue exploring. Come on, giants. I guess I could do a preliminary look at... That's awkward. Um, see if we can uncover a cave just by poking out. I th think that's a regular... Oh, it doesn't look like an orc village, actually. That might be an undead. That's definitely an undead. Ruins there. Uh, undead. That could be a giant's cave, or it could be a rat's nest. One of the two. <laughs> uh, looks like we found the edge of the world. <laughs> and, and that could also be a giant's cave or a rat's nest. One of the two. So, nothing really stands out other than those two. So, I guess we'll just continue kind of circling around. We'll eventually get to them, I suppose. Oh, hello, giants. Ha <laughs> ha. What luck. Hey, Albert Games. Welcome back. How are you? Your character is doing just fine. You are one amazing medic. Uh, you're a little weak. Uh, however, you do have the blessing of strength now. So let's throw that on you for the time being. You have a 22 medic skill, which is very, very nice for us. We appreciate it. <laughs> And we're going to need it because we're about to fight some giants. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's do this. You approach a group of giants and you have just enough time to figure out the best approach. Charge! Two vehiculud and two wild wives. Oh, this is going to hurt. No, damn it. Oh, the one card I didn't want to be in our discard pile. Uh... If we reshuffle, we can either discard a random card or... <laughs> have I played the Theo 2 card demo? I have. I uh, played it on the stream... Mm, Monday or Friday? It was either Friday of last week or this last Monday. Um, pretty exciting stuff. Lots of new features. Kind of complicated. I, I'm, I'm hoping they uh, streamline uh, some of it a little bit more. Or at least have a better tutorial than what's in it right now. Is it good? Didn't play yet? It is much more complicated than this. So uh, let's just take this for now. So instead of having an offensive hand and a tactical hand, you just have your hand. And you'll have a melee row and a ranged row. And you can play any given card multiple times in any slot. The problem is you have action points um, that you spend to play a card. And each time you play a card, its action point cost goes up by one. So if you want to use the same card multiple times, you're actually cheating yourself out of your actions. Um, what else? The, when you select a card, all of the various abilities like this will be on it for you to choose which one you're going to use, kind of like this is now. But that also applies to your offensive cards, since again, there won't be a tactical versus offensive. Um, there are only five phases of playing your cards. So at best, you can have out, I think, seven cards, because that's all the action points you're going to earn in a given challenge. Which makes it a lot more tactical. You have to plan out what you're going to play and win. But it seems pretty good. It plays pretty smoothly. I just uh, I want to see a better explanation of everything uh, as the game progresses. Uh, right now it's kind of understandable since it's just a quick demo. It is very different. Alright, we have giants to deal with. Luckily, giants will never have a piercing attack, so we don't have to worry about that. So we just want to send our strongest, biggest, baddest mofo out. Or, oh, never mind, we only have a single first action. I was going to say, or we send out our highest level people, 
But since we only have a single first action that's going to work anyways, it doesn't really matter because we have lots of options. Uh, let's go ahead and send out Playing Coward since Playing Coward has an amazing damage output. 57, 77, 83 minimum, 93 maximum. That's almost enough to kill a giant. Never mind. It's enough to do half of that. Or it's almost enough to kill a wildlife. Uh, sadly, there's nothing we can do about these two. So we do have quite a bit of damage coming at us. Uh, yeah, we can't even kill this guy. We don't do enough damage. Crap. 58, she cannot survive. 54, she can't survive. So we might want to think about shielding her. Nazca can survive one of them. 90, 101. Not quite survive both. We don't really have an option, though. We definitely need her out there to handle those hits. Uh, who are we going to first action? It cannot be Dark Chabor. So, whoever we send could still be hit by the Wildwife, which I think limits it to only Krolls, because only Krolls can still survive that hit. In which case, let's get Dark Chabor out now. Oh, that's got so much life. <laughs> Yeah, none of my confuses is going to work. Uh, my support allies aren't going to be enough. Then again, maybe. So if we first action crawls, that's going to be 46. We can make it 56, 63, 110, 130, 156. Yeah, it's still not enough to kill it. Damn it. <sighs> Looks like we're not quite ready to hunt giants, apparently. Crap. Uh, <laughs> what am I going to do? Coach is sick. And sh shield. Sixty-eight I means she'll barely survive that. Oh yeah, I wanted the first action you. And then noob on the end, which is very dangerous. <laughs> I don't think noob's gonna handle this very well. Um, we kind of only have the option of getting closer with everybody else. Oh, damn it. <laughs> they did not attack in the order I was hoping they would. Ooh, Noob just got jacked up. Ooh, we are taking some losses here. <laughs> Let's see, I could poke him with Tolkien, which would be 26, 35, 45, 53. Not enough for the kill. But then I could also support. Yeah, let's do this. Supports, supports, that is a kill. We are good to go. You slay the giants. Whew, lots of damage. What keeps disconnecting? Anyways, uh, let's see. Mace, that's a very weak mace for having a, such a hard fight. Uh, that is a decent crossbow. We'll keep that. That's an okay Warhammer, but we've got better, so we'll break that down. Uh, 
Let's see. You're not bad. You're pretty lightweight, too. So, yeah, I'll keep that. Moonstone and diamond are both nice. <laughs> uh. And that, kids, is how I kill giants. I poke them to death. <laughs> yeah, you just need a big stick. All right, we're going to have to look and see how bad it is for these guys. Noob is, ooh, so jacked up. <laughs> oh, I don't think Noob is going to survive. Luckily, he's not here to watch this. Uh, but let's see. He has 59 wounds. We're going to go ahead and turn our food on as well. So he essentially has 29 life. So 59 divided by 29, 204%. Take away base survival of 70 uh, double this medic is 22, plus our secondary medic, who is polar bear, a 4, so that's 26. He almost made it below 100. <laughs> he has a 108% chance to die. Ugh. Nobody is dying on my watch. <laughs> uh, don't, don't write, uh, checks that you can't cash there. <laughs> I want to put this armor on you, but once your blessing of strength goes off, it's going to be too heavy. All right, Krolls, what are you? You're not as bad. You have 25 wounds divided by what's going to be 20 life. That's 125. And then 70 and 26 were our rates, so minus 96. Oh, come on. So Krolls has basically... A 29% chance to die, so about a third. Playing Coward is actually not as hard as I thought. So 24 wounds divided by what's going to be 26 life is a 92. Actually, Playing Coward is guaranteed to survive. And Moash, <laughs> you just joined us and you're getting screwed over. Sorry, buddy. Uh, anyways, you're almost guaranteed to survive you have 33 wounds divided by what's going to be 33 life so you have a 100 percent wound rate and then our survival rate is 96 so he has a four percent chance of dying so let's go ahead and turn that food on uh you and you and you definitely you we just need one more let's go with the mushies uh, is there anything else I can do to improve my chances? I should have picked up two of the things, but too late now. I don't think there was two ready, actually. All right, let's go ahead and camp and give us the best chances of survival. Might as well collect some food while we're here. Apparently my computer's been freaking out at my external hard drive saying, hey, you're connected. Hey, you're not connected. Hey, you're connected. So I just unplugged it. <laughs> Anyways, back to what we were doing. Getting some food and hoping we don't die. Uh, and you guys are going to continue moving towards the ancient wood. You are set upon by a small group of rugged looking dwarves. Their faces are scarred, as if they cut off their beards with their axes, which they probably did. Their clothes are worn, and their eyes hungry. Only their weapons remain in perfect condition, the last remnant of their bygone heritage. One steps up and spits before speaking. Money, or we'll kick your teeth in now. I thought I was going insane. <laughs> nope, that was my computer being a jackass. All right. So we finally got the dwarf event, now that we're 500 turns in. Uh, whoa there guys. So the way I like to play this, uh, you could fight them and get their stuff. If you don't feel confident in the fight, you give up your gear and I hate that. That's, that's just a bad thing. Um, or you can talk to them. You'll get stats for talking to them and then it's up to you. You could take their gift, which will be mithril 
and go. Or you can take their gift, which is Mithril, get those stats from doing a social, and then turn around and stab him in the back and get more Mithril. Give you a moment to, to guess which way, route I'm going to take. <laughs> the lead dwarf spits and grunts at you. Less talking, more doing, my hummy friends. I got little patience for talk. Too bad. You're going to listen to me. They have to listen to me. You have to listen to me. <laughs> Thankfully, dwarves suck at social challenges. So, counter offense. Do I have any counter tic tacs that work? I do. So we have two to deal with. Can't confuse them, but that's alright. So we have 10 damage coming at us. And we need to deal 11. Izbilut is up to that task. Now we just need to do 9 damage to this one. Apollonia can handle that. And then the rest will finish off the discard pile. Hey, playing coward, welcome back. You're just in time to watch us hopefully not kill you. <laughs> Your men stand firm, showing off their strength and confidence. The dwarf leader listens to you, then speaks. Today you shall eat well and sit with us by the fire, so that all of us may see tomorrow. The dwarves look relieved at their leader's words. Okay, so we got a small stack of mithril. Uh, we didn't get the stats, so I must have misremembered that. But we did get a blessing of speech, which makes this whole event easier next time. We could share our food, which if you are following the Lady Lada, so if you're playing that goddess, definitely share your food. You could get one of them to join you. But we're going to be assholes, and we're going to attack them. Yeah, too bad no Lada. Exactly. They are great. All dwarves are great. They're almost as good as elves. Not quite, but almost. Uh, let's see. None of our tactical cards are going to help us in this event. But we do have two first actions that we can use. Or we could just poke this guy. I'm tempted to poke him. Now we need something else to handle the next dwarf. Uh, 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 so, and Seru, fuck, oh, yeah, we got the axe on him, that's why. So, we'll, we'll first action Seru, which will kill this guy easily. Uh, so let's do the Brova, the Brava, whatever that is, and then Catherine. Smiths are almost better than elves, so it's fighters, eh, true. I just like the fact that elves are permanently have piercing attacks, so I can throw a two-handed axe on them and have an amazing piercing attack. And it just dawned on me that this is Team Misfits I'm fighting with. <laughs> that would have changed my thought process a little if I had remembered that. Yeah, <laughs> that leech. <laughs> I know, it's pretty nice. It's almost enough to fully heal him every time. Uh, so we know we're going to kill this one. Can these two kill this one together? That's 24... 58. Oh, it's already a kill. Yeah, so then we'll wound that one. We might as well get some pokage in. Pelchy Bog. And then Seru, who is going to be first actioned. He kills that one. These guys kill that one. We are golden. Love it. <laughs> How did I get it that high? I will show you. This is what uh, part of what I was talking about, how I prefer elves over dwarves, because I can do it to them, and then it's a piercing attack. You have defeated the dwarven bandits. You realize a few of them have somehow broken nice. their weapons in a last act of dying. Not nice. some can be salvaged. Not even made of good materials. Uh, oh, it's bad quality. If this was normal quality or even good quality, I would totally want it. But now, not so much. Uh, we got better than that now. Ooh, a mithril axe. Uh, I'll keep it for now. And uh, We don't need that. Definitely don't need that. And we got another stack of mithril. Very nice. Thank you. So, you want to know how Seru has that amazing leech. This is how. A single axe has 26 leech on it. 
All you have to do is make it out of dragon bone and ancient wood, and it has a crap ton of damage. And then if you throw this on an elf, all of the that damage with their strength is a piercing attack, and they still have the leech and poison for their actual attack. This is my favorite weapon in the game. Yep, dragon bone. And you can enhance this further. Um, if we, if I had taken the time to do so, I could have made dragon armor with more leech and then some dragon signets that also have leech for the rings and then just really jack that leech up. All right, time to cross our fingers and hope that people don't die. Just as a reminder, we have Moash has a 4% chance to die. Playing Coward, you are guaranteed to survive. I was just pulling your leg there. You are the only one guaranteed to survive. <laughs> Checking your bag, no Advil. It's going to be a rough night. Uh, Krolls has a 30% chance to die. And Noob has a 100% chance to die. <laughs> oh, sorry, Noob. Goodbye. Don't yep. always have a chance to heal. And so death can claim it. So place. our death count is now eight. Not bad, considering how long we've been playing. Unfortunately, we keep losing our named characters. Moment of silence for noob. The Elkilude, leave me alone. I need to heal. <laughs> But I think we only need one more giant group to bring out the Umbridge Lord, so that's something. Hey, we're back to a normal full party now. <laughs> I'm a doc, not a vet. Damn it, Jim. <laughs> uh, let's see. Krolls now has a 4% chance to die. You're still guaranteed to survive, and Moash is guaranteed to survive. So we pretty much made it through the worst of it. Uh... uh... Now that I'm thinking about it, we do have some gear here that we need to distribute, especially now that we've lost Noob and we have his sneaky glove. <laughs> Let's see, how is your... You have tons of strength, Kochasek. Holy crap, we're throwing a bow on you. Uh, Krolls is good, you're good, good, good. Oh, you need rings. Sure, there you go. Enjoy. Noob, loved them dearly. How do you count percentage? Ah, so I'll do a quick demonstration for you. Uh, let's take Krolls, for example. She's the only one that even has a chance to die right now. What you do is you take the number of wounds that that character has, so in this case, 20, uh, and then you divide it by their total max life, in this case, is also 20, which that math is pretty simple. That's, that's a 1 or a 100%. Uh, every character in the game has a base survival rate of 70, so you would then subtract 70 from the 100. In this case, we would have 30 remaining. From there, you have to ask yourself whether or not you have Bloodbath turned on or not. Uh, most people that I know play with Bloodbath off, so you would only take your best medics skill at a 1 to 1 ratio. In this case, Owlbear Games is an 11. It's my best medic. Uh, so that's 11 points. So you would subtract 11 from the remaining 30, and that would give her a survival rate or a death chance of 19%. So if she rolls a 1 to 19, she dies. 20 and up, she survives. Um, but since we have bloodbath turned on, the calculation changes slightly. Uh, because of the bloodbath, you take your best medic and times their skill by 2. So Albear's. 11 becomes a 22 in actuality and you add your second best medics skill at a one-to-one -one ratio in this case uh, polar bear here has four medic skill so 22 plus 4 is 26 you then subtract that from the what was left over so 30 minus 26 gives us the four percent chance to die <laughs> Jeez, yeah i know it's it's math heavy but it's pretty simple after you do it a few times. Uh, and sure, Moash can have a sneaky glove. <laughs> and the armor. Fuck yeah. That works out great. Go Team Bear! <laughs> uh, 
Alrighty then, let's go ahead and continue moving. Can't move any further, and there are some veggies here to gather. I always recommend taking the opportunity to gather food if you can, especially when you have nowhere else to, left to move. Uh, we want to continue healing, so I'm just going to sit here gathering the food as always. Are we gathering the food? I don't even remember if we did that. Okay, we did. And allow our people to heal up. And now Krolls is guaranteed to survive. She is still technically bleeding out, but because of our amazing medic in Owlbear and Polar Bear, uh, she has no chance of dying now. But we stu still want to continue resting and healing. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on our food because we want to maintain this plus one healing. Until she is fully healed. Looks like she's healing at a rate of five per turn. So two more turns. We'll see her feel it fully healed and our food will last that long. And I should have moved <laughs> Team Misfit. So that was kind of a mistake on my part. But that's okay. They were collecting food, so they didn't really lose out on anything. And now, Krolls is fully healed. Let's make sure everybody else is good to go. Uh, Moash still needs a turn to heal, technically. And... <laughs> Told you nobody's going on my watch. If only we had a vet. Rip noob. <laughs> oh well. I mean, noob wants to be the, the animals that acts as our meat shield. So he did his job. Can't fault him for that. <laughs> uh, so technically, Mosh still needs to heal. But the odds of us running into something right now is kind of small. We'll just take As it you slow. delve deeper and deeper into the forest, the trees become taller and stronger with every step. Many are darkened, withered, or twisted by the darkness, but still, they are more glorious than anything you've seen so far. There is an air of mystery and magic around you. When you look up, you begin to see the trees are more than they seem. Slowly, as if some mist is lifted from your eyes, you see hanging bridges, then the frames of houses built into the trees themselves. Stairwells winding up from the roots to the very top, even sculptures and long forgotten lantern holders. This must have been an elven city. Alright, we got the Cursed Lovers quest. The city has seen better days for sure. Now that you see it, you have no idea how you missed it before. Every tree, bridge, and house is grand and beautiful, but they look empty. Not only because there seems to be no life here, but there is a much deeper sense of solitude and sadness. When you touch one of the trees, you feel a soft powder on your hands and you realize that all of them are covered in a thin layer of gray ash. Well, let's climb up and have a look. You try to climb up using one of the wonderfully carved winding staircases that should lead you right to the top of this wondrous city. You soon realize the gray ash is also very slippery, so it will be a real challenge to go up. Let's do it anyways. It's an auto-resolve. You step very carefully, and after much effort, you finally reach the top. The view from up here is breathtaking. A whole city grows within <laughs> these treetops, as if it were a natural part of the forest. And yet, the houses are refined with intricate wooden carvings. The passageways amongst the tree branches adorned with colorful crystal formations that must have been used for lighting in the past. And every building seems like it was made with passion and artistry. You doubt how practical this was. All right, Albert, have a good night. For Thanks sure. for joining us. As you stand, looking in awe at the city frozen in time, and we will trust you in your like dark skills. Watching you. You search through many houses, still slowly and carefully so not to fall to your deaths. You find dining rooms set up for a feast, sleeping chambers with beds made up, playrooms with toys lying ready for use, and even an armory. Alas, when you try to touch anything, it turns into ash before your eyes. As you stand baffled in one such room, a soft, sad voice speaks to you. And thus you have followed my path and stand before me as I hoped. Welcome, young ones. I am Alice. Once of the Silver Oak people, now, well, a memory of the past, I suppose. When you turn, a slender, tall elf, 
garbed in green armor and long ashen hair stands before you. Were it not for the ever-empty black eyes and the gray ash covering the soft skin, you would likely think this to be an avatar of the gods themselves. Hello there. I am sorry if I have startled you, young ones. This was not my intent. I am the last of the old Silver Oak clan, and I was cursed to remain here for eternity, lest my people become ash, the same way you saw happen with any object here. As long as I remain, they are safe. But alas, never allowed to return home, nor speak to me. That sounds terrible. To answer all your queries, let me tell you my story. Just the highlights. I was cursed by my lover whom I scorned in the past. I cannot leave this place and no kin of mine may enter, lest they turn to ash. I now feel the presence of my lover nearby and wish for you to ask him for my release. In return, I shall reward you with an elven blessing upon your return. You got it. Wonderful, thank you. Here, if you do go, take this ribbon and show it to him. He'll know it was from me. Take this map I drew. It will show you where his tower now stands. His name is Zadra, and beware, he is of course a mage of some great esteem. Oh, and as you were so kind to me, here, have a small token of my regard. Thank you for the rubies. We will put them to use. That's actually not far from us. Auto resolve the bee fight. What do we got here? Fur, leather coat not very good spiders spooders four of them that's a joke they had a decent spear on them though considering they're one <laughs> first level enemy all righty then we are still hunting those giants sadly we're losing our daylight fast so i have no idea where they went oh hello samok and bats eh, i'll let you come to me You guys continue the journey. That's an auto resolve fight. Thank you for the enchanted bones and a very weak spear. Is that the Samok? Nope, it's the one skull fight. Eh, not that good of a bow. <laughs> So many auto resolve fights. We'll keep the button though. I'm sure somebody can use that. Button, button. Who needs a button? You do. Nope, too heavy for you, of course. You do. There we go. We also gained a level from that fight. Uh, anything stand out? Marcelka has a level 4 confused. That's very weak. Oh. Uh, a little bit of strength is nice. Shielding and health, all good things. Cool. Our main group. Looks like some more health. Yeah, not bad. I'll take it. And finally, our village. Ooh, nice. Lord you. Better medic skill. Perfect. Uh, more, A lot more strength. And a little... Oh, a lot more health, too. Nice. I'll take that every time. Uh, let's see. We still need a few more points for our second research point so we can get actual spears you are going. Ambushed. A group of thugs stands in your way. Bearing Ooh. weapons and vile grins on their unshaven faces, they look determined and unafraid. From their confident stance and sideways glances, you suspect they may have friends hiding nearby. One of them steps forwards and speaks. You could sell your lives. We need some metals and a weapon or two. We're not too greedy. We yep. can do this the easy Nazca. way, or, well, you know the rest. We're He's just fine with either. I don't think anybody else has the right attractive skill. Oh, well, Tolkien, the elf. So it's either going to be Nastka that seduces them, or it's going to be Tolkien. Okay. Oh, what mighty swords you have there. You've got a pretty face and sweet talking tongue on you, so why not try and use it? Laughs one of the men. The other bandits look a bit confused. It is sexy bandit time. But you seem time. to have captured the attention of their leader. You feel the captain is interested. But you do realize at this point that you'd better put your mouth where the money is, so to say. The question is, is it going to be our warrior lady or our elf that does the seducing? Well, hello there, Captain. Your sword is certainly the biggest. <laughs> you flex your muscles and show off your best features. 
You smile, wink, and laugh at all the jokes, even when they're not funny. The captain seems to be more and more interested. <laughs> this is the highlight of your day, eh? <laughs> Flirt on! Well, you tried to sweet-talk it with the bandit boss, but he wasn't buying it. His way of things is simple. You either give him the goods, or give him your special goods. No middle ground. Let's give up the goods. The bandit captain takes you to the side and says in a lowered voice, Listen, I really do fancy the pants out of you. Let's make that clear. But I ain't a rapist or something. So, you know, we can just sit here and enjoy a drink, and then I'll just play my part back there with my men. Or, you know if you want to, I really do think you're like the sexiest creature I've ever seen. The imposing bandit leader turns bright red and looks straight into your eyes, waiting for an answer. You got it. Swayed by their honest hey, speech, the you let go of any <laughs> doubts and let yourself be taken <laughs> by the passion of the moment. The two of you spend the next hour together, and the two parties waiting nearby have no doubts about what is going on. As the time comes to depart, you see the captain looks rather sad to let you go. Alas, this will likely be your last encounter. The captain collects their people and leaves, true to their word. There are clearly some bandits unhappy with the decision, but a sharp glare from their boss quietens any discontent. And for successfully seducing, he gains more speech and will, <laughs> which he's pretty good at, so that's nice. Uh, wait, come with us. I mean, back to our village. You can't bear to see them go. And Driven it's a female, a so it works out. <laughs> you run after your lover. The bandits look at you surprised, but clearly taken by your sudden plea. There is a long and awkward silence. Then one of the men puts his hands on the captain's shoulder and speaks. You've been a good captain to us and swell company. Some of us owe you our skins, most of us owe you more. But your heart ain't in the game no more, captain. If you want to go settle with the pretty thing, we ain't gonna stop you. Hell, we'll cheer and come to the nuptials. The captain nods in gratitude, shakes the hands of all the band, and then grabs you in a long and shameless embrace. The captain joins your party and becomes part of your village. So, we got Ludmilla here. Uh, definitely has these two equipped, and I can't decide which of the armors. It uh, does have the two leech, so it's this armor, which means this is our extra, which is a nice armor. We're going to keep it. Nice. Came with some pretty good gear. I'm happy with that. Although, we now have an extra body again, so that's a little upsetting. Uh, I think we're going to keep the leech on her, though. This is probably the same. No, it's weaker. Haha, uh -huh. it's made out of worse uh, quality materials. Got it. Hey, we found Nimblewood, finally. Holy crap. <laughs> it's been 460 turns, and we finally found Nimblewood. Oh, forgot. We got all of that food turned on that we don't need anymore. Although, if we come across the giants again, we might want to turn it back on. They're almost to their destination to start collecting. And they're being chased by bees. It is now true As the night nighttime. Burns, the sky and stars shine down upon you. And the we have vampire. Seeks your company. Your male companions are protesting something, but you do not really care what they say. The visitor is tall, dark, handsome. How many men do we have in the group? We have one... That's a female. Two... Three... Four... Ooh. We have four fighters to try to protect the females. Luckily, one of them has a badass axe. I don't know if the shades are going to count or not. Ah, you let's try do to this. Speak to the man, but words fail you. You now see his face, and sure, there are fangs. Yes, his face is fierce, and his eyes those of a wolf. But you really like wolves. He smiles so sweetly. You'd think he's a male Rasalka. Come to me. Stop ourselves. With great effort, you manage to stop yourself from following the man. But you are unable to even move, for fear he will take hold of you. 
but you do feel your resistance is weakening the streaker. Let's see, we could fight him with just our men, or we could try to do an intellect challenge with the women. The question is, how intelligent are our women? Izbalut's not bad. Roslava is kind of slacking. Uh, so is Apollonia. Marcelka. Dobrava. So we have two decent intelligent women. Oh, I forgot Catherine. How is Catherine? Uh, I don't want to say it, but uh, <laughs> Catherine needs some help in that department. <laughs> uh, it's enough to win this, but I kind of want to verify whether or not um, the shade counts. So, yeah, let's do the fight. The bats are there to soak up your attacks and be annoying. The the Striga and the Striga Master can be pretty deadly. Uh, looks like dead me. <laughs> Our crow is a male. Oh, Isbalu is a male. Okay. Okay. Noted. Otrak is a male. And Fagwent, the shade, is a male. Okay, so all of them count. Nice. We're doing a lot better in this fight than I thought we were going to be. Uh, there's the Striga. The Striga Master can have a piercing attack, so we do need to be concerned with that. Uh, we do have an amazing first action here. Holy crap. <laughs> we can first action up to two people. Let's see. Seru does enough to kill it, but do we want to? Because I can poke him with six, and that makes this a 19. 29. Thirty-four, thirty-eight. Oh, just enough for the kill using all three of them. And then we're relying on Seru to kill the next one. So let's go ahead and poke and then Seru. There's the Striga Master. So yeah. Oh, damn it. No, no. This is so going to suck. Uh, that bat is going to soak up Seru's attack, allowing the Master to get off his own attack that sucks there's nothing we can do about it either okay so he's gonna do 29 damage to Seru who's pretty much the only one that could even handle it that's gonna leave him with eight life not the greatest but at least gives him a chance of survival so let's get these two out first action First action. And what sucks is they're going to kill it before Seru can heal himself. Oh, but he can, hits that one. Perfect. So he fully healed himself thanks to that axe's leech. As he lies slain, the spell is broken and the women are themselves again. Although some seem quite sad at this turn of events. Both men and women in your group feel stronger in brawl and magic, at least for a time. So we got a bone dagger that we don't need. Ruby and moonstone, perfect. We got a blessing of strength and magic, all nice things. Thank you. Team Misfits, continue heading to the goal. We finally made it. <laughs> Took forever, but we're here. Can't camp though. And Liberation Army. Let's go ahead and hit up this ruin. You find the remnants of a great oh, old city maybe in not. ruins. <laughs> the mysteries it holds could be vast, but beware. It looks as if the dead walk in great packs inside. Uh, fuck it, let's you go. You find an old storage ah, room nice. in one of the many Free ruined stuff. houses. It took a while to get into, but it still holds usable loot. Thank you. This is the shitty thing about nighttime, though. We can't see if the giant is anywhere near us. Uh, there's nothing worth gathering, though, so let's just keep exploring. Malicious spiders, that's an auto resolve. We can now make camp with them. Is this the best place? It allows us to get two bunches if need be. The question is, do we even have enough to get one bunch in a single turn? 
We do not. But what we could do is take the next two best ones and go like that. So that we get two bunches every two turns. That's essentially being able to get one every turn. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Suppose we can try to collect some more wood so we do this longer. And you guys, hmm. I really don't like clicking on this when I don't know what it is. Might have to just make camp here. Lots of things to gather. Let's go ahead and get that meat going. That's really all. We're just going to have to hit chill until some light starts to appear. Like that. So that is a five skull undead fight. I really don't want to mess with that. So let's go around it. Where did that giant go? I'm so confused. Spiders, auto resolve. Don't need that. There they are. Oh, dear Lord. Uh, we have to run, even if I think I can win, because we need to actively kill them as the aggressor for it to count. So we're going to take some wounds, sadly. But we can try to get some poke in to make them weaker in the future. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, let's go with that. So, poke. And do we want to poke that one? I think we're going to wait and poke another one so that we kind of double our odds of being able to do double poison damage when we actually fight them. Like so. I think that's the only spears we have. Yep, all right, we're gonna run. We're probably gonna take a crap ton of wounds. Hopefully nobody's bleeding. Oh God, our medic is, no. <laughs> all right, Albear Games is bleeding out. Uh, everyone else is pretty good. Only two other people took decent wounds from that fight. Let's take a look, Albear. 14 of 14, so that's uh, 100 wound scale, base survival 70. Medic skill of 26, so she has a 4% chance to die. We're just going to go ahead and turn our food on once again. So that we're healing. Uh, I want to hit them, but we do need to heal. So what I'm going to do is kind of step away for a sec. Make camp. They'll probably still come after me. Ooh, what the hell are you? A C O oh, Siren. It's a different spelling. A ghost and a topiolet. A topielke. Something like that. Uh, this is actually somewhat of a blessing in disguise because I can potentially heal some of my people. Uh, too bad all of the hurt ones are in the tactical hand. Like, she has a little bit of leech, so I could make her heal faster if I were able to get her out. Oh, well. Uh, counter offense of three probably is not going to work. The tactics should, though. Can I first action anybody? I have a single first action that'll work. Which is fine. That guarantees we kill this one by sending Kochasek out. Uh, which means I kind of want to poke him to make him wounded to double Coach's Sex Poison when that happens. And then we will send out Moash with his shield and hammer. That's why we wanted the shield. <laughs> uh, the Siren we're going to confuse. Because she will survive and I don't want to get hurt if possible. So then we'll send out Polar Rare with her hammer. Ooh, luckily she has leech, so she can heal most of that back. 
Let's go ahead and counter Tic Tac. Twice. Because we can still confuse with that one. Let's do Kochasek. First action. That's a kill. Wound. If he attacks to the left, it's a kill. If he attacks to the right, it's a wound. If she attacks the same one as him, it's a kill. If she attacks right, it's just a wound. Um, let's go ahead and do Krolls, then Dark, and then Ludmilla, then Dark Legolas. Beautiful. Very nice, very nice. And you healed. I love it. Perfect. Easy peasy fight. That's not a bad axe, especially with the good quality. It's a nice weight to damage ratio with the poison. We'll go ahead and keep it. We might have a use for it. And then again, maybe not. The night is quiet and calm, but suddenly the ground shakes beneath your feet without any warning. Ah, getting ready for you trouble. The grumbling of the earth, and you fear Mokosh's wrath is upon you. But this tremor feels somehow different, less natural. Take cover. That's an auto resolve for us. Of distant thuds and groans, then several short yet violent rhythmic shakes. Then slowly, the sounds and the tremors move away. All right, how is our team doing? Have we? Ooh, Albert game still needs probably another turn at least to heal. Yeah. Let's continue camping for one more turn, and then we'll try to hit those giants. Thankfully, they didn't hit us first. So, she technically needs one more turn, but I think we're overall good enough to do this now. Let's see. Yours, your mace isn't that good, so we're just going to replace that with the axe. Um... Is this armor an upgrade for anybody before I do this? Sixteen and three, sixteen and four. It's technically an upgrade and it's a lot lighter, so perfect. Alright. Let's take on some more giants. Hopefully we don't lose too many people. <laughs> uh Ideally, I would get to go first. You have just enough time to figure out the best approach. That's unfortunate, but not the worst card to lose. We do get to go first. Perfect. All righty then. Let's see. Let's take a stock of what we can do. We can only first action a single person, and it's our spear user. Ah, uh, not the greatest. Not the greatest. Let's see. Question is, are we going to get lucky and it only sends out its tactical card for its first turn? And probably the answer is going to be no. But, uh, so playing Coward is going to start us out. The problem with that is she can die easily and I don't like that. <laughs> like whoever I send out is going to get hit, which makes me want to send Sasha out. He's not the highest damage dealer, but he's close. And he's got 104 life. Yeah, we're going to send Sasha out. Which is good, because we can still first action playing Coward. And since this one's wounded, her poison gets doubled. Uh, so that's going to be 70, 96. And 148. Still not enough. We're going to be 13 shy. Which means we would have to poke instead of first. Yeah, that's not worth it. Okay. So he's definitely going to get his attack off. Now. That means I need somebody that can absorb it. 69 damage. Holy crap. Krolls can barely survive it. And that's it. So Krolls has to be next. That's scary though. She's... <laughs> Ugh, we need more health. <laughs> we need better armor. That's what we need. Uh, uh, uh. Let's go with Dark Legolas next. 
62. That's a little better, but still too much. Dark Legolas cannot survive that. Uh, we're going to use you for a first action. So I could shield ally. So that Dark Legolas will at least survive that hit. Uh, next up. Fifty six or fifty eight. So technically polar bear, but polar bear is our medic, so I kinda wanna protect him as long as possible. Oh, he's our backup medic. I still want to protect him as long as possible. So we're gonna send out Moash. Who we will also protect. So that he can survive that hit as well. Uh, I'm going to first action with you, so we could add more damage, and we need a 13, which is perfect. We have a 13 right there. This this is going to work out. I like it. <laughs> so these two, if my calculations are correct, will kill this one, so we don't take that damage. Uh, they will severely wound that one. He'll still get his attack off. Either way, in either direction is fine. Ideally, he would hit Dark Legolas, who would take overall less wounds from it and then the second phase will kill both of them yes I like this let's go ahead and poke that guy so that any poison attacks will do more damage to him and if Ludmilla gets an attack we fucked up badly <laughs> perfect not the ideal target for him to hit but that's okay and we win you giant slain and he's not even bleeding out perfect we got a bone pouch not too useful i mean the folklore is nice at the start of the game but at this point we don't really care we're just gonna go ahead and break that down and this is technically an axe even though it's totally a sigh it's pretty good i mean 17 damage is nothing to sneeze at but eh i will break it down for its mithril though as far as resources go, this is kind of a tease. Like, it's not enough to do anything with yet. But, thank you. And I think that should lure out the Umbridge Lord at the end of the turn. Let's go ahead and camp somewhere. Right here looks like a good place. Get some shrooms. And eh, we don't need string. You guys are gathering away. All right, let's do this. Umbridge Lord. You have now slain many giants and you feel the presence of the Umbridge Lord nearby. He's here. Where are you, fucker? Really? You're gonna spawn next to Team Misfits? <laughs> Fine, I'll come chase you. How is Moash doing? He's still wounded a bit, but he'll be fine. Oh, hello. Let's do this fight. <laughs> uh, we can hex them, which is an auto-resolve for us. And that's too heavy. We got better, got better. Yeah, we got better than all of this. Can't move any further. So let's gather some more food. Can we get to 360? No. So those guys are pointless to be there. In fact, you're pointless to be on there. We only need a... 4 with her. There we go. Uh, We just need one more on you. There. And then everybody else can help you. Oh, <laughs> three points shy of getting four stacks from it. Oh, well. Break camp. Continue chasing down the Umbridge Lord. How is Moash doing? One more turn and he'll be healed. You decided to build a new house in the village to improve your lifestyle. The construction is going well. Or, so it seems, until the whole thing collapses on your workers. 
Well, shit. Good thing OSHA isn't around. <laughs> All right, get everyone who's left together and dig them out. You dig the men out fast enough that they don't suffer any grave wounds. Good. Okay, so we only got a single experience out of that. Not the greatest rewards, but thank you. Can we make it? Ooh, I think we can. Hello you there. Six groups of giants and followed the signs of the great shadow. A black, lifeless form grows out of the ground before you and stands as tall as two dragons. It roars at you. You, you kill giants. You waste their deaths, but I see you are not worthy of my time. I feared my enemy rising up, not mere worms. The shadow creature turns and moves away as fast as the wind. Worms, eh? We're gonna hunt your ass. You track down the lair of the Umbridge Lord. Good. As you watch the land, hey, the appreciate. creature of the shadows appears and speaks. I do not wish to serve my master. Please let me join you instead. You feel saying no is not an option. Amazing at speech challenges and is a good meat shield and hex challenges. Has some basic magic, so that helps. Strength isn't bad. That gives him a total of 34 min, 41 max. Not the greatest, but it, it'll do. Pretty cool. I like it. And you are going to be renamed as Lil Umbridge. <laughs> Dark noob. <laughs> uh, I suppose we should stick with the theme. <laughs> Dark noob. Oh, wait. He's got zeros in his name. Noob. Uh, There he is. Yeah. Team Misfits, you're done gathering. We're going to combine strengths and go kill this guy. And see how many people we lose. <laughs> Let's just turn lots of food on. So we don't have to worry about this while we're... Taking him on. All right, time to get our asses kicked. <laughs> Approach the lair of the Umbridge Lord, and it is suitably steeped in grim darkness and stale, musty air. In an underground chamber stands a large figure, barely humanoid made of pure darkness bring it on you finally stand in the presence of the 15 score Lord, challenge is not running this time let's do this oh we're gonna lose so many people <laughs> hello umbridge lord great he comes out first that is very unfortunate <laughs> Uh, crap. Yeah, he's going to tear through people. That was very unlucky for us. I was hoping he would be in the tactical hand. Luckily, hammers only trample once. So at best, he can kill two people. Uh, We might as well get our weaker spears in there now. Get that damage going and let him potentially kill them. So that they're cycled out of our hands. None of my counters are high enough level, sadly. Uh, we could support Apollonia here. Just kind of maximize the total amount of damage she does to the Umbridge Lord. That would be an option. Or... 
is there an or? <laughs> we could first action up to three cards, but the problem if we do that, uh, we won't even kill the Umbridge Lord by doing so, and then we're going to allow the other three to get free attacks on us. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. No, I think it's better to just have the bodies out instead of maximizing the piddly damage that we're going to do. So, worst case, this guy ignores these two and hits whoever we put here, which will screw everything we do up. Best case, he kills them. The shade then hits whoever we do here. Let's assume, worst case scenario, we want our weakest people... Uh, damage wise soaking up his potential attack which looks like it's gonna be Ludmilla here and she'll be able to soak up quite a bit of the damage if he does hit her so let's get closer with her and then really if he hits her nobody's gonna be able to survive the second hit anyway so that part doesn't really matter uh, so let's go with Merselka Then again, who's our weakest overall damage dealer? It looks like it's going to be Moash here. Get closer with him. Then do Krolls. Get closer with you, Fagwent. Try to maximize the amount of damage we can do between the two phases. Uh, now what I want to do is poke that guy. And of course Saru gets confused. That's kind of... I was going to first action him so that he gets... We get the most damage onto the Umbridge Lord as we can, but... Now it's not worth it. So... I'm going to go ahead and shield him because he is our highest damage dealer. I kind of want to keep him alive if possible. Okay, the Umbridge Lord took out the two weakest ones like I was hoping. We got rid of a single shade. Woo! Oh, God. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Oh, We lost so many people there. <laughs> uh, okay. We got him down to four. <laughs> Damn it, the Umbridge Lord again is in the active hand. Alright, Astrogniev, poke his ass. <laughs> um, this Confuse might be useful. I don't remember if there's a shade left alive or not. First actions, we have a single one that would work. That's not great we could per first action playing coward and he'll get a lot of damage in and then die sadly so it might actually be better to save him to the end hmm let's see easy loot has the weakest attack overall so we'll use him as a meat shield Followed by Polar Bear. I'm sorry, Polar Bear. <laughs> Let's see. Got no spears, so we can't poke him. But that is a shade. So we do get to confuse it at any time we want. That's convenient. So then... So we're going to use use a confuse and that's it which means let's go ahead and get everyone else out dead meat i can't believe you survived this long <laughs> there's the maroki let's see 
then do... Hmm. Who's the least useful to me? Technically, Sasha. And then... This one at least is guaranteed to die before he gets an attack off, which is very nice. 39, 47 is not a kill because it's not wounded, so you're not up. You can kill it, right? 51, 52. No, you're one damage shy of the kill. Lame. So I think we still want to use you for this that. 49.53, that is a kill. Which will then allow everyone else to hit this one. I like it. We'll go Kochasek, Otrok, Playing Coward. Meat shields are doing their job. <laughs> Problem is everybody he hits is pretty much guaranteed to die. Because he does so much damage. Oh, and he heals. I forgot about that. Shit. But he's the only one left. Which also means he's always going to be in the active hand. Like that. Oh. <laughs> so, who's our next two sacrificial lambs? It needs to be people from this hand. So that we can maximize our damage. I kind of want to save her because she's one of the medics and we need at least one medic guaranteed to survive so that we can hopefully save some people from this debacle. Let's see. So we're going to go ahead and send out Dark Chabor. Actually, let's just send all the shades out to be our meat shields. <laughs> then Otrok, then Seru. We're going to save her until the very end so that she's guaranteed to survive. And then he is wounded, so we can do this in any order we want. Uh, he's gonna kill up to Otrak, so it doesn't matter. Goodbye, Umbridge Lord. <laughs> Defeated by mere flesh creatures. No! The Umbridge Lord falls to his knees, and the darkness inside of him devours his body, then dissolves into thin air, leaving only small patches behind. One of these patches looks like a shadow creature, but with your victory, you feel you can dominate the fiend to serve you instead. All right, we got some end game armor out of that. Unfortunately, it's secondary materials iron, so it's not as good as it could be. We got a dragon belt. <laughs> dragon signet, bad quality though. Uh, an axe, it's not too good. That is pretty good light armor considering everything. We'll keep that. That's an okay crossbow, and we don't need a backstab bracelet. 58... Obsidian seems like a ridiculous reward because this was so much harder than what 58 warrants. Uh, yeah, these guys got overkilled big time. Whoo! So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen people on death's door. Of those eighteen. How many do you guys think are going to actually die? Let's go ahead and dominate that shadow. Darkness forms into a creature and obeys your command. These are pretty nice. I mean, that's amazing strength with the poison added in. That's 50 damage right there. And he has 50 life. He's pretty damn good. And he has medic seal. He's our backup medic. Holy crap. You think 16 of the 18? All right. That was technically a um, end game victory scenario, and it get, we got to level five, guys. So, yep, 
tonight we'll end this run. But we're going to keep playing because we want to see how many people actually die. Uh, we can go ahead and utilize two of the movement to see if we get the healing event. It's very unlikely. But let's do it. Yep, didn't happen. Let's go ahead and make camp. Uh, so, let's see how many of our medics are not going to die so we can see what our odds are. Um, the Brava has five. <laughs> the shadow creature has one. So, this is kind of our best medic right now because the others are hurting pretty badly. But, we're going to go ahead and try to maximize our medic skill as best we can. Which means we want you to have that. Because I think you're, no, you're probably not the best actually. If we take that off for a second. 7-7. Seven, seven. I guess technically you are the best. Too bad we don't have our blood pendants. That would make our odds even better. So we'll keep we put that on her for now. Looks like of everybody wounded, only... Three of them have less than a 100% chance to die, which is misleading because the game gives everybody a 5% survival rate, even if they're overkilled 10 times over. So there's a chance that some of them will survive. Let's make sure we got our food all turned on. We do. Okay. Round one. Oh! <laughs> One, two, three, six, twelve, thirteen of the eighteen died on the first turn. Oh, so painful. So, so painful. That puts us at twenty-one dead. <laughs> we gained a level from that, <laughs> which is technically helpful. Because everyone who gains health, like Nastica here, um, that will go into the next calculation. So they have even better odds of survival. And let's take a look. Nazca still is iffy. <laughs> Krolls is iffy. Moash is iffy. Rislava is almost guaranteed to survive. Dark Noob is screwed. He's dead. Like The odds of him surviving twice being severely overkilled is almost impossible. Uh, let's go ahead and put our medic root on not you. <laughs> yeah, we will put it on you. We'll just take that off. There we go. Uh, that gives us a nine medic for her plus our secondary medic, which is apparently a one. Yep. So we have 80% survival rate. Round two. Oh my god, nobody died. A wandering elf walks into your village and asks for a place to rest before moving on. Uh, yeah, let's share our food. Always a nice reward. Got crap tons of stats. Not the most useful ones, but stats are stats. Let's take a look. I can't believe Noob survived that round. Moash is I can't do that math in my head wrote that quick 24 wounds divided by 26 life 93 so he has a 13% chance to die dark noob still has a very high chance to die Krolls is about 50-50 Nastka has a 20% chance to die so I still don't have faith in Noob, but we'll 
do another turn and see. Holy crap, he survived again. And now he's at a 20% survival rate. And the other two are pretty much fine. I can't believe Noob is going to pull through. Yep, Noob pulled through. He's guaranteed to survive now. <laughs> oh, God. So we lost 13. You were close, Justin. You were close. Wow. And now everybody is healed and no longer bleeding out. So 13 was the number. Craziness. Oh, good run, though. And we made it to level 5. Beautiful. And game. Let's verify that we made it to level 5. We did. So we were at level 3. The new ones were Solar Vision. Your village starts with an advanced watchtower already built. I, I think that's kind of a lame one. All watchtowers do is guarantee that your, your radius of visibility around the village is extended just a little bit. Not too useful. Uh, and then Path of Light. Expeditions gain an additional movement point. That is useful. Not bad. All right. So that's it for that, guys. And it is the end of my stream. Level 5 is good. And our goal is to get everybody to level 5. So we got one more level with him, with her, with him. She's good. We need to play as Morena. Uh, we're good with her. And we need one more level there. So just a little bit with a few gods. And then uh, like two run-throughs with Morena will get us there. And then we've unlocked level 5 on everybody. So... Before I end the stream tonight, though, I want to give you guys a preview of what I'll be playing on Friday. So let me get this set up real quick. Turn this off so that you don't have that music. Uh, and this game is called Battle Chasers. It is a turn-based RPG based off of a webcomic from the 90s. Let me hide chat real quick. Or I could just move it over, I suppose. Like so. kind of the teaser trailer and then you got actual gameplay. These kids don't know how easy they've got it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be playing. I'm super looking forward to it. I've been waiting for this game for a while now. <laughs> but yeah, so thanks for coming out and joining me, guys. Thank you for watching Thea the Awakening. Uh, I will be back on Friday. 
at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific, streaming Battle Chasers next time. So until then, have a good night. Thanks for watching, and game on, friends. And no, Justin, there probably will, will not be Bandit Seduction, sadly. Thanks. Have a good night.